right, so got a lot of stuff going on, but I got a new computer. Still trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing because I'm a PC guy. I've been, been playing with PCs for the last 15 years and uh, decided to switch over to Mac because I want to get into some higher quality video editing. So this video is just going to be a mishmash of a bunch of crap. This is me and Josh doing heavy skull crushers. <clears throat> I went out and met up with Josh Hyaduck last night over at the downtown gym. Um, I need some new footage, I need some new material, I gotta start uh, learning how to use this Macintosh, so I've got a lot of good things coming up, so um, Josh is a local guy, and we've been training a lot together lately, and he's great to train with, because the guy's a freak of nature. So, went to met up with him last night, and his, uh, his lovely fiance Erica, and we ended up just doing a couple sets for arms. Tomorrow, we're actually driving over to Tampa, and we're going to train with Lane Norton, so that's... That's going to be a, a sweet deal, getting Lane, Josh, and myself together. As you can see here, my tan is horrible. I'm a Florida boy, but the weather's picking up. Going to be out at the pool soon. So bottom line, I'm testing the recording software. This is a voiceover software. Uh, the Mac has a lot of different features for iMovie that I was not uh, using with a Windows Movie Maker. So I'm hoping... Uh, I've taken some advice some, from some people I've met, and uh, I've really started to enjoy this video making process, and I'm looking at doing some stuff in the future with some other athletes um, and myself. So this was the next step, man. I'm just uh, transitioning into what's better for me. These are concentration preacher curls, or uh, whatever you want to call them, you know, isolated preacher curls really like these movements with Josh. Uh, you can see Josh is still looking pretty good. He didn't bring a tank top to the gym. First time I've trained with Josh when he didn't have a tank top on, but don't need to be a scientist for I, uh, yeah, the guy's a freak. Look at his vascularity popping through there. Anyway, Josh has been great to train with. Um, the downtown gym in downtown Orlando on Orange Avenue, uh, never trained at it before I met Josh. Years ago, it used to be called something else, and I trained there. They've remodeled it. It's a really nice gym now. They're really cool. Every time I come in, they let me train with Josh and Erica. Um, they let us shoot video footage. They've had camera crews in there all week for the Europa. Uh, so it's just about uh, it's just about a nice location. They've got some uh, you know great bodybuilders that train there, and it's only six minutes from my house. I live in South Downtown, and this is uh, right in the heart of downtown. Uh, literally on uh, on Orange and Robinson. So this is a this is a movement that Josh likes to do. Said he learned it from Jim Cordova, and this is me getting way too close with the camera. But again, I'm trying to get some good ideas. I've been watching some videos. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Rob Bailey, uh, but I really like his video style. So I'm just trying some different things: some zoom in, some zoom outs. I'm gonna get some better video equipment so I can actually, you know, do some, some, some different, uh, some different tricks. Right now, I just got this little handheld HD camera, which does a nice job. I mean, these are pretty decent videos for what it does. But I just wanted to mess around and and, and try some different things um, tonight. I told Josh that I was just gonna be acting weird, so just ignore me. He's a pretty quiet guy, as is. You know, you gotta uh, you gotta squeeze him to get him to talk. So. Uh, I think he's he's pretty happy with how he's looking. He's talking about competing this year, so I'm trying to motivate him there. Here you can see my weak ass arms compared to Josh's. Uh, but I did like this movement. He said he learned it from Jim Cordova, and at the bottom of the movement, you actually you know you twist your hand, uh, you pronate it so that you hit the outside head of the tricep a little bit more. And I definitely felt it a little bit. Uh, I don't have those awesome tricep insertions that start at the elbow, but uh, I'm still willing to try to bust my ass to put a little size on my pipe cleaners. Um, overall, I'm really happy with uh, what's going on. It seems like every week in the gym right now, strength is getting better. I am dealing with a little bit of a hip injury, but I have an MRI scheduled for next month. Uh, I had a three-week waiting period. Once that's done, I'll have some answers on what I can do. Right now, the only thing I can do with no pain is hack squat with narrow stance and do a little bit of deadlifting, and because uh, both, both of those I do with narrow stance. Anything where my foot is more than, um, you know, a few inches outside center, it, it, it my inner, uh, inner adductor really feels like it's uh, got a problem. So instead of 
re-aggravating it like I've been doing, icing it and stuff. I'm just going to do what doesn't hurt me right now, which has actually given me a little bit of more motivation in the gym. I'm really enjoying the narrow stance hack squats. I'm getting strong at them, and I've actually noticed a little bit of change in my in the outside head of my quads, which is, you know, important for me because I'm, I'm tall, so I need to have that roundness and, and thickness in those muscles. So I am making progress, and here's Josh, and we just turned this machine over, and we're just doing a uh, face pull hammer curl. Um, I had never done these before, but I liked it because it keeps the tension on the bicep the entire time. You can get a full stretch at the bottom, full squeeze at the top. Um, whereas when you do the dumbbell hammer curls, you know, when you're resting at the bottom, there's no tension. And when you pull it all the way up to the top, it's not a lot of tension. So just a little something different. You know, we, uh, we didn't have a lot in mind for this workout. We just wanted to do something to get together. Like I said, I just needed some material for this video. And here's Josh's left arm and he's got a damn good tan for a Georgia boy, but Josh is a, a consummate professional. He's always in good shape and you know, he's, he's got some opportunities coming up, um, so he's staying in really good shape. I think he's around 190 here. Um, and he's actually a little spilled right now. He was a lot crisper last week at the Europa. So I'm sure the next few videos that we shoot, he's going to look even better than he does in these videos. Uh, I want to give a shout out. All you guys know I'm now with Core Nutritionals. Uh, I talk with Doug a couple times a week via email. Um, the guy is just on point with everything. I've ordered some product. I'm actually going to be... Um, selling product at some of my demos. If anybody has any requests, let me know what product you might be interested in. But right now, I'm just going to be getting the Core ABCs, uh, Core Fury, and uh, Core Burn, the new fat burner. Um, and when Core Alpha is out, I was told two weeks I may have it for the uh, OCB Southeastern States on May 25th in Orlando. So, having said that, uh, just big thanks to Doug Miller. Um, for being so responsive. He's, uh, he's handled every need I've had so far in a quick fashion. So I'm excited. Uh, I love Core Fury, love the Core ABCs. Uh, I'm also taking Core Test right now because when I heard they were going out of it, I bought a couple bottles. So it's been, uh, it's been great. So here's me trying to duplicate the Josh High Duck massive arms. So you can call these the fat seps. I'm definitely starting to get into my off-season mode. Uh, this is about as off-season as I've got. I won't gain any more chub other than this. Um, I feel good, though, right now. You know, I've still got some abs showing, and uh, everything's positive. I want to give another shout-out. Got the Shredder-built tank top on that I bought from Dave Gooden last year. And uh, the uh, Lane Norton camp is coming up, so you guys know I'm going to be getting some great footage with uh, Dave Gooden. Brian Whitaker, Philip Ricardo, Alberto Nunez. It's just a who's who of bodybuilding. It's going to be great. Dr. Joe's going to be there. So I'll talk to you guys soon.